welcome back to Medical Travelogram. So today I am going to do a video about Tbilisi State University because my friend Afra is studying there. So I thought uh, I will do a video about that because I can ask the uh, ask about the university. Uh, so this is the night time. That's why um, there is some clarity problem. Uh, because now only I got her so I thought okay uh, now only I ask uh, about her university and uh, I will share with you uh, okay so just start the video so guys I already told you that uh, I am gonna uh, like ask about uh, Tbilisi State University so first of all I am gonna ask uh, her that where is the lo university located actually we have like uh, around Sound. Two three universities and more. You have two three universities. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like buildings. Yeah, buildings. I meant, and okay. um, the first uh, university, which is the main university, there's actually two main universities. One is in Saburtalo, and one is in Digomi. Okay. Okay, and uh, the one in Saburtalo, it's like towards the end of Saburtalo. Um, it's um, called State University Metro, if you know. So it's uh, near the metro. Okay. Okay, nearby uh, State the, uni yeah. University Metro. Yeah, and the Gomi one, it's in Barichwili. Okay, okay. So there is, uh, there are two buildings. There are like more buildings. Okay, there are the main more buildings. Yeah. But they are located at different different uh, places. Localities. But the main ones are like the two ones which I mentioned now. Okay, the main ones are two. Uh, they are lo one is located uh, at Saburtalo and uh, the another one is uh, the Gomi. Yeah. So location, you know. Okay. Uh, what about the uh, university fees? Um, actually, every year they keep increasing like five hundred dollars per okay. time. So I joined like around uh, two and a half years back. So then the fees was like um, three thousand five hundred per semester, which makes oh. it like seven thousand USD per year. Okay, okay, okay. But now uh, there they might be like eight thousand USD or maybe nine thousand because, like already, I mean year uh, third year. So. I mm. think so yeah. it's costly <laughs> yeah because in European university it's 5000 USD yeah wow. per year yeah. for uh, Indians I think wow. I think nice. because other um, from students from other um, countries I think more than 5000 USD I think okay, okay. so uh, Indians are there only Indians are there or mixed of students uh, it's actually we are having an international faculty there's like Arabs there's like uh, Nigerians there's Indians there's like different nationalities even Georgians are there and uh, from my batch onwards they started having like a mixed kind of class so we have Georgians also with us studying okay, and it's okay. fun overall it's like a fun experience yeah, yeah. The people from different cultures yeah, countries yeah we come to know about their culture they come to know about uh, ours so yeah Okay, and which year uh, you are studying? I'm in third year currently. So guys, now she is having her vacations. So when will be your class gonna start? Uh, it's going to start from October 3rd. Okay, October 3rd. Tell me about your <coughs> life in Georgia. Like your point of view about Georgia and uh, your life experience in Georgia. Everything. Tell um, me. Okay, so I cannot conclude it in like few words because um, I was living in a circle whether like I used to live in Kuwait so coming from there like I was family oriented and everything I, I didn't have to do anything on my own so when I came to Ge Georgia I had this independent exposure I completely had to do everything on my own I would have never learned if I stayed in Kuwait or in India so that way I think it's an amazing experience but there are also like pros and cons both so it's not just the butterfly side um, so yeah there's like a lot of experience I, I, let me ask you how was your experience over here all these five years mine yeah <laughs> tell me about yours it is wonderful <laughs> waiting for you like, i have good and bad experience even me like there's like a lot of bad yeah everyone Plus, has like good and bad experiences <laughs> but Everything we gives, cannot conclude but everything like gives beautiful words. memories right after yeah. after so many after years we can um, think about think it, about it. <laughs> yeah <laughs> like normally how many hours you have classes 
normally we have like one lecture it's gonna take like maximum one hour or one and a half hours sometimes two hours and then we are gonna have seminar that's also like two hours seminar means um, lecture will ask questions right uh, yeah every single day we have seminar and so guys uh, here also uh, internal marks like lectures will ask questions according to it they will give the internal mark right yeah, yeah. then uh, what about the exam pattern um the exam pattern you need to study like it's quite uh, difficult because our university it, it's like one of the oldest university i think it's the first medical university in georgia if i'm not wrong okay okay yeah and uh, so tbc state university is the first university yeah in first, georgia first u medical university okay first medical university yeah. and it's also ranked like uh, it has a very good world ranking okay and the uh, international faculty as well as the georgian students are like uh, it's a highly uh, very uh, experienced teachers and everything is like really good there okay, and okay. even the administration is very really nice okay okay and uh, do you uh, are you getting any clinical exposure uh yes the clinical exposure starts from year 3 and i just ended so now you are going to start okay <laughs> but we have practicals uh, compared to the other universities in georgia we have practicals from year 1 we have like suturing suturing is basically the stitching <coughs> yeah yeah we suturing. have suturing in year 1 year 2 we don't have and then year 3 we do have okay you have a, a subject like entire semester right yeah okay so tell me about the exam pattern midterms final marking system and everything okay so basically when our subject starts <coughs> sound there's going to be like either one subject or maybe you will have two three subjects together and then after each subject you will have a midterm and after the midterm um, you will have again subjects going on and at last you will have a final a uh, final exam of that subject alone in year 1 but from year 2 it's like uh, you'll have the blocks together blocks are like for example uh, your um, subjects are going to be like um, grouped into uh, many groups like for example digestive respiratory cardiovascular so you'll have for example physiology chemistry and everything together of this blocks of the regions of your body uh, which mm -hmm. is located so it's going to be concentrated like that and then you will have final exam like of all the subjects together together yeah okay so guys entirely different from european university yeah but this is only in year 2 i don't know about year 3 but uh, year 1 it's not like that year 1 is like after each subject you will have your final exam it will be over like whether it's biochemistry or uh, physics or anatomy anything. whatever anatomy. yeah okay so um like so, uh, year 2 was different from year 1 yeah and okay. year 2 is like kind of really difficult like total is out of 100 right yeah okay so like how much mark you need to uh, sit for final exam uh you need around 31 marks in internal and internal also include like as i said earlier like there will be seminars after uh, each lecture like the next day you will have a seminar seminar means uh, lectures will Whatever. ask questions yeah. okay mm. they last questions like you have to learn it you need to understand more than learning it orally mm, okay. so that's more important then what about presentation cues and all uh presentation actually in year 2 we had very less it depends on the professor okay. like the same subject if you get a different professor they might give you presentation instead of seminars but unfortunately we had like to study like every seminar <laughs> yeah. you had to know. okay what about the lectures are they friendly cooperative yeah lecturers they are uh, really nice and cooperative they'll help you in every way if you study only if you study if you work and even if there is like a bare minimum work they going to help you but uh, if you don't work no one can help you yeah so now classes are online or offline it's offline completely offline completely yeah. offline okay and uh, so you don't know much about hostel right uh, yeah uh, because um, like none of my classmates or my batchmates i don't think uh, i don't think we have a hostel i'm sorry if i'm wrong but i really don't know about it so. okay okay no problem yeah. uh, can you please uh, tell me about the flat uh, rate uh, like nearby your college um actually uh, the flat rates are quite high uh, yeah. when i came to georgia it was very less like if you need a room uh, with two bedroom you might get it for like um, 
$400 or even $500 but now they have increased it so much near the university it's like $800 oh my god so her nearby her university it's $800 okay yeah. or $700 it's okay. very difficult to get a two bedroom with less than that so two BHK nearby her university starting price is $700 $800 yeah uh, nearby my university it's like uh, 400 500 2 bhk okay so what about 1 bhk 1 bhk it's like 400 or even 500 now uh, it's costly guys yeah <laughs> it's very expensive yeah. and uh, it's not like before even when you came i think it was very less right? yeah very less but how much it was when you came when i came yeah. here when i came here uh, we can get uh, 2 bhk around uh, 270 dollar 300 dollar and 1 bhk 150 200 dollar but now oh my god guys <laughs> so much difference uh, your university is providing any extra curricular activities yeah like dance like, or football like sports or uh, anything we have like student organization in our university and whatever you are interested in you can approach them and they they there are like members they're the representatives and they will work for it like whatever talent you have or you want some extracurricular activities uh, like there is and there are events too uh like there's like a lot of events concerts there's everything actually okay so uh, you are studying in which uh, building like Saburthala or okay coming to that part uh, that's quite interesting because um, in year two we had like uh, anatomy in the Saburthala building okay. and we had like uh, biochemistry in the Gomi building oh yeah. it's too difficult yeah it was difficult because if we had like two subjects together uh, i mean obviously the teachers they keep it like either uh, one subject will be in morning one will be in evening mm -hmm. it would be like that yeah. so we have to catch a metro we'll have like one hour gap in between and you just need to rush to the other building mm. yeah but you'll have like little time to have food go to your home maybe if it's okay. near so uh, you are getting enough time to study um, studying it depends on how you study like as I said like if you are a person who works like you will get time but I think there's like a lot of time for you to study in Georgia uh, other than India because uh, in India I think it's a hectic schedule right mm. over here it's more let's not say it's easy or anything but it's a bit more we less are, we are getting free time also right yeah we are getting free time yeah so I hope uh, you guys understand about the Tbilisi State, State University. University. So the video is this much only. So bye bye. Bye.